Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight in Alberta where there are questions being asked after a train derailment in the community of Gainford, west of Edmonton. A CN train carrying oil and natural gas went off the tracks. There were two explosions and the massive fire forced dozens from their homes. The rail company says it had recently inspected the line and is standing by its safety record. But not everyone is satisfied with that answer. Let's join our Alberta correspondent, Francis Salvaggio, who's at the scene. Francis? Well, Robin, as you can see, the highway remains closed. Access remains restricted. There has been some access by certain crews. For example, overnight, CN was able to get in and remove four crude oil tanker cars that were not affected by the fire. But the lion's share of the work will have to wait until all of these crews can get in, and that won't happen until the site is cleared. That could still take some time, but regaining confidence in the national rail safety system, well, that could take even longer. Two CN rail cars continue to smolder away as residents of the tiny Alberta hamlet of Gainford count their blessings. Let's put it this way. If that would have been right behind our house, they would have been in our house. Thirteen cars went off the rails early Saturday morning carrying oil and liquefied petroleum gas. The resulting explosion scorched the highway and forced the evacuation of nearly 100 residents from their homes. Don Campbell and Marcy Miller watched the trains roll by their home every day. She's lived there all her life. I've lived there for about 26 years, and you, know, you just don't even think about it. You like miss the train if it doesn't go by. This, though, is now the third major derailment of dangerous goods in the region in just the last month, and comes just three months after a train explosion destroyed the heart of Lac Mégantic, Quebec, killing 47 people. Demands for change are only getting louder. What we need from the federal government is a clear rail safety plan with more inspectors to check the tracks and the, and the trains. But CN rail officials are defending their industry and their own safety record. I want to make it clear that we are committed to running a safe railroad. Unfortunately, incidents happen, but we are working hard to reduce them as much as we can. Investigations are now underway to determine the cause of the derailment while crews wait for the remaining fires to burn out before they can begin cleanup and families can return home. When it is safe for us to allow them to uh, go back home, which uh, could be uh, 24, 48, 72 hours, depending on uh, the tactics and strategies employed to mitigate this incident. There is no timeline for how long cleanup will take or when the railway will reopen. Residents just know the trains will return. The question, though, is will their trust? Oh, well, I'll think about it now, probably every time, sure. <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? Now, Global National did reach out uh, to the Minister of Transportation, but uh, she was unavailable for an on-camera interview. A spokesperson, however, said that the ministry is in contact with officials here in Alberta and monitoring the incident very closely. Uh, the spokesperson also pointed out that the department continues to hire more inspectors and has invested about $100 million into the National Railway Safety Program. Robin? Our Alberta correspondent, Francis Savaggio.